वी आर इन द मिडल ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एंड द नोवेल कोरोना वायरस हैज ऑलरेडी क्लेम्ड ओवर थ्री पॉइंट थ्री मिलियन लाइव वॉट विल एंड द कोविड नाइन्टीन पैंडेमिक श्योरली वैक्सीन विल बी अ मेजर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर हाउ एवर द प्रोसेस ऑफ वैक्सीनेशन इज स्लो एक्सपेंसिव एंड हाईली पोलिटिकल ड्रग्स सच इज डेक्सामेथिसोन रेमडेजिवीर and various monoclonal antibody treatments have been granted emergency use approval for the treatment of certain hospitalized covid-19 patients but the availability of these drugs varies widely around the world and supplies are particularly scarce in the most resource limited settings in these conditions and with large numbers of new cases still being reported in various countries a common antiparasitic medication is being touted as a miracle drug for covid-19 cure it is called ivermectin ivermectin is not a new drug discovered in the late 1970s in tokyo japan it was originally introduced as a veterinary drug used in humans since the early 1980s it was labeled as a wonder drug before because of its ability to treat parasitic infections especially river blindness which cause significant social and economic burdens in certain communities in Africa and South America there are few drugs that can seriously lay claim to the title of wonder drug penicillin and aspirin have perhaps had the greatest beneficial impact on the health and well-being of human kind but can ivermectin be considered alongside those worthy contenders it is versatile safe and beneficial enough to have an impact worldwide especially on hundreds of millions of the world's poorest people according to a research paper published by australia's monash university the use of ivermectin triggered 93% reduction in coronavirus load within 24 hours a figure which reached 99.8% within 48 hours As of now, 3.7 billion people have been treated with ivermectin and hence proves to have profound safety profiles. Many regions around the world now recognize that ivermectin is a powerful prophylaxis and treatment for COVID-19. South Africa, Zimbabwe, Slovakia, Czech Republic, Mexico and India have approved the drug for use by medical professionals. So, What is the problem? The FDA, the National Institutes of Health and the World Health Organization currently state that there is insufficient data on the use of ivermectin to treat COVID-19 patients. Merck, the company that makes ivermectin, also states that there is no evidence of the drug's therapeutic effect against COVID-19. Nasia Safdar Professor of Infectious Diseases at the University of Wisconsin School of Medicine and Public Health says that a dosage that works in a lab does not necessarily reflect the dose needed in humans which might be too high to achieve safely Think of it as a big hammer on a plate says Sharon Nickman chief of the division of pediatric infectious diseases at Stony Brook Children's Hospital in New York Yes you broke the plate but you also destroyed the table and sent splinters all over the room we don't want that kind of approach to guide us when we think a medication is ready for use in humans the pro ivermectin campaign has taken a particularly strong hold in south africa where coronavirus infection rates are among the worst in the continent and the vaccination program has yet to cover all of the country's most vulnerable Some doctors have been prescribing the worm drug to COVID-19 patients, claiming anecdotally that it alleviates virus symptoms, despite the South African Health Products Regulatory Authority (SAHPRA) warning against its use. Latin America has some of the worst COVID-19 death rates in the world, and widespread poverty has been exacerbated by the pandemic. With vaccination programs slow to roll out in parts of the region, it's unsurprising that people are anxious to find inexpensive ways to tackle the virus. The latest is a group of medical practitioners and scientists who identify themselves 
as Frontline COVID-19 Critical Care Alliance, FLCCC, who are pushing for the use of ivermectin as a miracle drug to stop the pandemic. Based on their study of 27 controlled trials, 15 of which were random in nature, FLCCC says that the drug can not only bring down the viral load in COVID-19 patients, but can also be used as a prophylaxis, something which is taken to prevent a disease. In India, Uttar Pradesh was the first state to use ivermectin, followed by the governments of West Bengal, Maharashtra, Assam and Kerala, which also included ivermectin in their protocol for the treatment of mild to moderate cases of COVID-19. Latest entry into this list, Goa has given the nod for the use of an antiparasitic drug as preventive treatment for all adults against COVID-19. Goa Public Health Minister Vishwajit P. Rane said, while it does not prevent infection, it reduces the severity of the illness. According to Dr. Surya Kant, in these days of shortages of drugs like remdesivir, which on many occasions do not work, there is surplus supply of ivermectin in the market, and the drug is easily available. It can be of great use to protect persons who came in close contact with a COVID-19 patient, as well as the treatment of asymptomatic and mild COVID patients. Whether ivermectin is the correct solution or not is still a matter of debate, but it has surely highlighted the disparity in access to COVID-19 vaccines and treatments for low and middle-income countries.